By the way, Jerry said you look very professional on TV. Like, 
Okay, did you walk did you walk back through the neighborhood and go out the back gate? Or did you turn yeah, short it? Okay, so you can go around and just cut through like to the car wash. I need to cut through the car wash. Like through the shopping center there where the open campus is, you can go that way? No, that's just, just longer. Okay. And it went down to I don't think there's much hill though. If you go back in the neighborhood, that's all kind of uphill. No, okay. you go straight like that. You go straight and cut through like the grass and go right there. Okay, so you went behind the houses, not on the street? It's not behind. You talk, what, what houses? Okay. The neighborhood? You live on Appaloosa. Yeah. Okay. And if I go up, in, up by the gate and I come in the gate and I turn right, here's your house. Did you walk up the street to the cul-de-sac and then go to the gate from there? Yeah. Okay. Alright. went just like straight down the street. And then went where? To the pool. Down the pond. It went you straight, straight down, down like, did you go down, did it go by subway? Or did you go straight down yeah. the where? Yeah, like all that. And then you get straight by like the train track and you uh -huh. turn on the pond lot. Okay. And go straight down. And so you walked to, you said the shell station? No, we walked to school. Okay. But you went that way where that shell station is in the railroad track? Yeah. Okay. You pay, I guess you pass all that. Okay. So, we went, got to school, went to all our classes, got on the bus, came home. I didn't put the key in my door, and I just opened the door, off to the right to my room. Yeah. Top or bottom lock? It's only the bottom lock. That's on the key. That's the only one. There's no yeah. bolt? There is a bolt. Yeah, it's a bolt, but I think it's probably the same key, probably so. Okay, but which one? The, key that one. the bottom lock. So that's the one you have on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Walked to the right with my light on. She asked me to, I guess she went to the kitchen. I didn't want to pay attention to her. She did. She went like towards the room and stuff. I heard her like scream. I walked towards the living room. I saw the blood and so I stood there for a second just looked around. And then I walked towards, like, you know, to my mom's room at the door. And then she said, quick, I called police. So I ran out the house and I flat the sheriff down, like, like, beating on his window. He came back in. Mm -hmm. And then. So he came back in, he was like in the kitchen, Jeff had threw up in the kitchen. So I was just like holding her and stuff, dude, we went and sat in my bed for a little while and talked. And you told the deputy that you thought three things were missing from your house? I didn't like name, oh, he said, is there anything missing? And you said? He said, I, didn't, I said, I didn't see my radio, I was in my room, but I don't know if it was there or not. Uh, what's your radio look like? Black and long. Okay. Um, and you said? Something pink in it. Her, no, jazz. Her little pink wallet thing. Like a checkbook or a no, like, change purse? Or? Yeah, like I guess it's pink. And it's like, got, What's it's like a girl's little wallet. Yeah, like something like that. Okay. Like and you said a base. Yeah, like a base. 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 Like a I didn't see it. I didn't say it was me. I said I didn't see it. Uh -huh. He said, he said, do you see anything in the living room? And we was talking about, do you see anything in the living room? Uh -huh. And I looked around. I thought the chair was like on the floor. I said, today, I guess. Right. Okay. Um, so you never got any blood on you? No, I touched, I touched a few things. I like what? Touch, I touched the, like the wall, the door, wall like thing. And then I bent down. What door, wall like thing? Like her door and wall, the wall and the door. Uh huh. Her door and her wall, and I touched it. But I had, you know, black gloves. So you went into her room? Uh, like halfway, not all the way in. Like by the door, but um, like not past the dresser. Um. Okay. Last time you when were you on the computer the night before? Mm -hmm. And yes, uh, you have a laptop. Mm -hmm. when, when's the last time you were on that laptop? Uh, well, you know, like, so when they got the search warrant and went in to start searching the house, that laptop was in a laptop bag. I don't know. You don't remember where you put it? I didn't put it anywhere. So I don't know. Where Where'd you leave it? We, well, my mom had used it, and then Janet got it back. Okay. It was in a laptop bag in the bedroom home. Oh. Now, how would the battery last that long? I don't know. Okay. Um, who's your boyfriend? Cozy. Cozy. How long, how long have you been dating him? About nine months. About nine months? That's a 
that must be serious. Not, not like, we like, we talk for nine months. We've been like knowing each other that long. Uh-huh. What better be all y'all do is talk right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? We might hold hands a little bit. Um, well, that, I mean, that's, that's, what does he do? Does he work? <laughs> How old is he? Seventeen. Seventeen. Um, how often do you get to talk to him? Almost every day, almost. And you talk to him on the phone? No. How do you talk to him? Well, we have a talk, like we were talking about, uh, I think my mom has, but I talk to him on the phone. I think my mom has to talk to him on the phone. Do you, you talk to him on the phone? Mm -hmm. I've talked to him like three times. I've been on my phone. Uh-huh. Does he talk to you on the uh, internet or anything? We talk on Facebook. On Facebook. Mm -hmm. And his name is what? Cozy. Cozy. What's his full name? Incozy. That's his full name? Incozy Benson. Incozy Benson. Uh, what's his phone number? Um, 404 And when's the last time you talked to him? On the phone. Uh-huh. Today. Today. Okay. Before that.
that we didn't agree on last night. That I didn't believe you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, did, did you think about any of those things? And do anything you say, you know what, I might can clear this up a little bit, maybe make him understand or anything like that? I was trying to think of some stuff, but not really like who was talking and stuff about like Sylvia called and stuff when we talked about her, but. Sylvia called. Because you had a white came up here? Uh huh. Yeah, she called. And she called you today at yeah. your grandma's? Yeah. What did she say? Nothing. She just wanted like ask a lot of questions and stuff and asked did they know who did it and did they, did they have idea and like, you know, stuff like that. What they was asking us and all that. So I was asking. Mm. Uh, we even had one person say grandma might have done it. <laughs> oh, Lord. My really did. Look, my aunt Ryan don't let you do too much of nothing. Right. I know. I was like, I can't believe nobody. Take them. How many times have you lied to me? Zero. And you're sure? What if I can show you some videotape that shows that you've lied to me? Okay. I can show you getting into a car on the way to school. Why didn't you tell me about that car? That's a lie. Okay, because you told me you walked down by those railroad tracks, and you didn't walk down by those railroad tracks. You got into a car. Both of y'all got into a car. What's up? called a ride. Yeah. With who? A man. A man? Who's the man? I don't know him. We didn't know him. You didn't know him? You got in a car with a stranger. You're sure? Because let me tell you, on the news tonight, that car is on the news. Pictures of that car. Somebody's going to call us and say, hey, that car belongs to so-and-so. And we're going to go see how that person knows you. Okay. And you, you're you telling me you got in a car with a stranger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why'd you lie to me about it? Because you know, know if you... Lot of yeah, and you know if you'll tell me one lie, you'll tell me two lies. I know, sir. Okay. Let's go to... When you came home, mm -hmm. did you ever take your gloves off? No, sir. So if I found a, a fingerprint, your fingerprint, but in your mother's blood, where you had her blood on your fingers and you touched something, how would you explain that? Uh, because if y'all got my gloves, you see both of them got ripped in them. Uh -huh. And they wasn't my gloves. But, but you know what? It's, it's more of your finger so that I can tell you're not wearing a glove. That's bad. So how do we explain that? How would we explain that? I don't think I took my glove off. I know they had ripped in them. Uh-huh. I, I know. And, and you know where you left your fingerprint? With your mother's blood on it? Try and go in the bathroom. You opened the closet door to get towels to wipe up the blood. Okay? Because the clothes that some one of y'all took on and the towels that y'all took out of the closet and wiped up blood, Y'all washed. No, sir. Because that's the only thing that's in there. Why not? Why no, sir? Because I didn't wash anything. You didn't wash anything that no, morning? No, sir. Okay. Why did you go into the linen closet? Um, the folded sheet. You put the sheet in there and I folded that up. Okay. Hidden in your closet. And a pair of Jordans. It is a bunch of bloody tissue. Okay? I had nothing to do with that. Nothing Listen, that. I'm going to let you tell me what you had to do with it. Okay? I don't wear tennis shoes. I told you I don't wear tennis shoes. Right, I know that. Yes, it's a bloody tissue. Yes, and it's a, there's a gold medallion, like a sports medallion, on a yellow lanyard. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay. It's like a, something you would wear around your neck. Um, you've never seen that before? 
it's in that shoe and it's got blood all over it too. Mm-hmm. Guess what else is in that shoe? What else? A big clump of hair. Your mama's hair was in braids, it's not your mama's hair. It's gonna be one of y'all's hair. I can look at I can look at it and tell. I mean y'all got nice hair. Okay? It's gonna be one of y'all's hair. There's a there's a black and gray. I comb my hair all the time, so my hair would be anyway. It wouldn't be bloody. Okay, listen. But my hair is it wouldn't old. be that it wouldn't be it, it wouldn't be in a shoe. Okay. Yes, so you can tell me it's like telling me it's like me seeing your hand in the cookie jar and me saying, Taz, why is your hand in the cookie jar? And Taz says, Sir, my hand's not in the cookie jar. I ate cookies earlier. I didn't eat cookies so this time. I'm and I like see your hand. hand in the cookie jar. Your hair would mind. not be in a clump in a bloody tissue mm-hmm. in a shoe hidden all the way in the back of the closet up under everything okay we don't wear, I don't wear it's a shoes. pair of oh okay so, and then okay tissues. i didn't say nothing about they were being your tissues but it's going to be one of y'all's tissues. hair and it's going to be whose blood is it going to be it's going to be somebody's blood okay and i don't know i don't know I And my fingers prick all over the house. I know that. Not in blood. And see, that's the difference. You're right, because we take stuff in there, forensic stuff, and I can see where you touch this and you touch that. But if you touch something and, and in blood you left a fingerprint, mm-hmm. then, then that's a problem. Not where you touched blood, but where you touch something with a bloody hand. Okay? That's a problem. That means you had somebody's blood on your hand. Mm-hmm. In your room, there is bl- a bloody tissue hidden. In my in, a sho- in your room. In your room. In your closet. Let me no tell you what. Let me tell home. you what else I found in your room. Mm-hmm. I found a tissue, a paper towel with blood on it. We found a black and white striped comforter that's got blood on it. We found your shoes. And it's got the gold buckle on. Who got my shoes? Who's on it? Well, what shoes? Because I got a pair of shoes. Like a Timberland. And they go old. But they're like. The blue. shoes in your room, we found two different pair of shoes that have blood on them. So a certain pair of girls changed shoes after they got blood on them. But no, I'm saying they, what shoes were they? Because I see that my shoes, I had a pair of Timberland well, on them. And a black boot. And that's all I had. And black boots have, like, studs on them. The ones they're, they're the boots with the buckle on the side. No, they're not our shoes, sir. Well, why are they doing in your room? I don't know, sir. You don't know. know? I can tell you I found more shoes than you told me. That you got them in boxes. I, you got all kinds of shoes. Yeah, but I'm saying the only shoes I brought over Okay, but the shoes there. with blood on them in your room aren't, aren't yours. No, sir. I would, you know, I always wear different sizes. So. Uh-huh. What you size know, you wear? An eight. What size of the shoes you have on? An eight. Okay. And what size is your sister? Um, she don't wear boots. Her so what size does she wear? Seven and a half or either eight. It's seven and a half or eight. Okay. Keep them on. Funny that these shoes are. You can't explain that. You know why it's like that, but you're not telling me no, why it's like that. I wear eight. I just wear seven and a half or eight. You've got eight. shoes in your room with blood on. You've uh, got a blanket in your room with blood on. You've got blood tissue hidden in there, and I, and I'm gonna have one test. It's gonna be one of your hair. I can look at it. Y'all have nice hair. I'm gonna be able to tell when I when I um, give them a sample when I get, when they send it to the crime lab. They're either gonna tell me this is Taz or this is Jazz. Okay. 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 And that's bad. I know, sir, but I'm saying, but. My hair, I wear it all the time. I, and, 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 and listen, I'm going to be, it wouldn't be in this tissue that. hidden in a shoe. Okay, you can't explain that to me. Why it's in a medallion, on, on that medallion with a lanyard. Okay, it wouldn't be there. I took pictures of it. We videoed how we found it. We found it, and, and it was I hidden. Know, I have a lot of 
stuff. Besides getting I've the already coffee. lied. You've Besides already lied. So, what, what, so, so from now on, while we're talking, you can't tell me I don't lie. Yes, okay? Sir. Because you do. Yes, sir. We've already proved it. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. And, and you know from ROTC, it, that's your, your, your integrity. And so now you've shown me there's a lack of integrity. Yes, sir. Okay? How do you explain that stuff in your room? I can't, sir. I really can't. How do you explain the cut on your hand? I explained that to you guys. I said I was going to test the car. Mm -hmm. I said I was going to ask Robert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Robert came back today. Robert don't remember you cutting your hand. I don't remember cutting my hand. I, I, I was going to ask Robert. Uh, I said I was going to test the car. Well, we're going to do that. So how, how um, who did you ask for a Band-Aid at school? You tell me you asked somebody for a Band-Aid. Someone in the office and then I asked. It was a substitute teacher. Her name was Miss Houston. Mm -hmm. And I asked her if she had one too. So mm -hmm. And you got to school about what time? I don't know. I don't know the exact time. You know why you don't know the exact time? Because you lied to me about that too. Because I sat there and watched the videotape. I could see what time you got picked up at the at the shell station. So then I used to watch the videotape at school. You ever notice how many cameras are at the school? Yes, There's lots of cameras at the I school. And I see you get out of that car at 10, 16. Okay, that's almost like third period, right? No, sir. And they said, no, I got my pass. My pass said 10 something. It was not 10 16 when I got the car. 10 16 when you got out of the car. Trust me. So I was there from the period I talked to my first period teacher. You didn't check in? Yes, sir, I didn't. No, show me your note. I was. Well, because we interviewed both of your teachers. Okay, both of y'all's teachers. Y'all didn't check in. We yes, talked to the yes, counselor. Sir. You did come to the counselor, and the counselor said, who sent y'all here? And y'all said, we just came here. So the counselor gave y'all a tardy pass and told y'all to get and the she class. She gave me a tardy pass. She gave me, she wrote on my schedule about asking for a schedule. Right. Now, right. Well, in schedule. essence, a tardy pass, so, so they know why you hadn't been there, right? But you didn't go to the office. We sat there and watched that tape. You didn't go in the office like you well, told yeah, me. Yeah, I went to the counselor's office. That's the office. <clears throat> Right, but not up to the thing where you sign no, in I late. Guess, I didn't know where you signed in. I've been there for two days. I didn't know where you signed in. Okay, signed. it's the same at all the schools. Every school I ever went to, every you, you sign in. I've been there for two days. And every time I ask for a question, I need my office to the council office. Uh-huh. But why wouldn't you? It's got a sign right there. It's got a sign that tells you to sign yes, in. I didn't know that. I did not know that. It's I just another it's something you lied to me about. You didn't get there for first period, did you? No, sir. But you told me you did, didn't you? No, sir. Yes, you told me you got there for first period. Okay. I was my first period teacher. You told me you went to first period. You told me you were about five or ten minutes late. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can't that. I didn't say that, sir. Huh? I thought my first period teacher, but I didn't say I was five or ten minutes late. You, t you told me you were a little bit late for first period. You missed first period. Yes, sir. So another line, because you know why? Because something happened at your house. No, sir. No, sir. And I don't see why it's all between the us when it's like this. But it, it's not simple stuff. It's not simple stuff. It's evidence. Okay? But you know, I would not kill my mom. I would not then, kill then, my mom. Then, okay. The jazz. I think Jazz, here's here's what I worry about. Jazz was assaulted in there. Yeah. And her mama didn't believe her. Okay. And she wanted to live with grandmama and she resented that house like it was a haunted house. Okay. Okay. She said at court that she was gonna kill no, she didn't. I can get you witnesses right now, yes, okay, I mean, including yeah, the public defender. She said she was going to kill her mama, okay? Now, you want me to talk about all the notes I found in the house? Mm -hmm. Let me talk about where y'all was talking about getting her out of the house and that you hate her and how bad you hate her, yes, okay? I mean, now she's dead. You're saying, "Oh, I love my mama." I did but, love my mama. But you, I but you, I you okay, you probably, you her. probably really did love her. But you wrote a lot about how bad you hated her. I didn't write nothing about her. Well, I can't really tell if it's 
says Jasmine or Tasmia, but it's one or the other. And there's lots of hate notes in there about how bad probably her because she resents that her mother doesn't believe her. And you might have even tried to stop her. That might be how you have cuts on your hand because you was trying to stop it. And you don't know everything I know yet. You don't know all the evidence. And I'm going to sit here and tell everything. But I'm going to get the truth out of you. And I think, well, I'm pretty sure we already know the truth. And, and I'm pretty sure you want to tell the truth. Okay? If I said, if I thought you could make a change right now and, I, and you had one wish, would you undo this? Yes, you would undo it. Okay? And I don't think you would sit here and say you're glad what happened. But it's not going to keep on lying about it. And we're not going to tolerate that. Okay? If somebody did something wrong, number one, they need... Um, if you hurt somebody, you need help. If you have... If, you, if something bothers her that bad that she had that much anger, now think of what you saw. Okay? How much anger was that? Right? Does she not need some help for that? Are you going to let her go through life like that? Are you going to let her always have that memory? Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. I don't want no more stories. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me what happened. I want you to use what integrity you have, and I want you to tell me what happened at your, with your mama. Okay? I want you to love Jasmine and tell me what happened. I want you to love your mama and tell me what happened. I want you to love yourself and tell me what happened. Okay? Don't just think about yourself. Don't be conceited. Don't be selfish. You don't want. You don't. Don't. Don't say you don't know what to tell me. Tell. Tell me to go jump in a lake. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Um, but don't tell me you don't know what to tell me because you do know what to tell me. That's another lie, right? I mean, you're 16. Y'all out here doing big girl stuff. Tell me to go jump. Don't lie to me anymore, though. Tell, tell me why it happened. No, because I'm going to talk to her. Okay? You you need to look out for each other. And what the way you're going about it is not working out. Okay? I like y'all. I like y'all. Okay? But it bothers me you won't tell the truth. It really worries me that you won't tell the truth. I'm wondering how much must be bottled up that you won't talk about it. But we're going to get to the truth. Okay? Now, don't you tell me what happened. Once you tell me, we'll bring your sister in here. Okay? And I'm going to talk to her. And at some point, I'll let y'all talk to each other. But I'm not going to let you sit there and either intimidate her or try to make more story up because you're at the point you want to tell the truth. You feel it in your chest that you want to tell the truth. And that's called your conscience. Okay? You have a conscience. Everybody but uh, psychopaths have consciences. Okay? It makes you feel bad for something you do that you know you're wrong. We always, we all do things wrong. We have to pay for what we do. But you try to, but you try to stop it. That's why you cut on my hand. I'm not stupid. Think of what you saw when it happened. Think of how violent that is and how much rage a poor little 16 year old girl has. Tell me what happened. You tell me to go jump. No, 
and tell me a story, okay? It, that means you don't respect me at all. You're going to sit here and look at me in the eye and lie to me when I told you I know the truth. Then you tell me the real truth. Okay? I probably have about 75% of it wrong. And the other parts I put puzzles together and they might not fit. Um, but I know y'all are involved in your mother getting hurt. I can tell from the evidence. Okay? And... and but you would know so. If you wasn't there, you would know so. You're saying you don't think so because you don't want to believe it. No, I'm not I didn't, I didn't like, when I folded the towel, the, uh -huh. um, the sheet, that's all I did. I just wanted to call it. I didn't wash any towels. Okay, you might not have. I can see that. I mean, that's a guess. And I said that because your fingerprints, your bloody fingerprints on the linen door, and then there's towels in the thing, so I made a guess on that. I'm not guessing about your hair or her hair. It's her hair. Pretty sure that's why she. Can I do DNA? Okay. Either you're the one that lost his temper, and I don't think so and you're covering for your twin sister, who you look at as little sister. Or she, or she did it. And, and you're, you don't want to tell me. Which means you're going to make her have to sit here and, and let me let her tell her lies and, and let me confront her. And you know what I'm allowed to do? I'm allowed to lie. <clears throat> okay, so when she comes in here to, to see if she'll tell the truth, I can say, Jasmine, it's what Taz told me. She went ahead and told me the truth. You see? And then she's going to think, oh no, we had planned to stick up for each other. We had this story all down. If she told the truth, I might as well tell the truth. Think that'll happen? No, sir. Well, you don't think she'll tell the truth? I'm sure I told the truth. It's on the car seat. Okay. I have a search warrant. Tomorrow we're going to pick you up and we're going to take you to a doctor. And he's going to examine your injuries. And we'll see if you're missing hair. But I, I doubt we get that far because I think Jazz is going to talk to me. She's the more emotional. I think she, I think both of you feel bad about what happened. But I, I think she, her conscience is bothering her worse than yours is. Which makes me worry about your conscience. Makes me worry about your soul. Do you believe you have to repent for something? Huh? Yes, sir. You don't? Yes, sir. Huh? No, sir. Why? You, don't, you think you can do wrong and you don't have to pay for it? Yes, sir. What do you believe? Mm -hmm. You don't know. How will you? Come on, Taz. I don't know what you Taz, did you stab your mother? No, sir. Who did? No. You don't know. Who do you think did? I don't know. Taz. You know, last night, I felt bad for you. Okay? And, and one minute I'd be sitting there talking to you saying, man, when this is all over, I'd like to adopt those two girls. Those those two girls are, are really sweet girls. And then the next minute I'd be like, ooh, ooh, what's that? She don't have, she don't have, she don't have any feelings. She don't, She's not truthful with me. But today I spent all day in the house. Okay? And then Robert came and I talked to Robert. And then Robert said, you should tell your mama you was going to kill her. I never told my mama that, ever. Uh, well, Jazz said, said it and you were both there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, according to Robert. You know, I saw 
pictures today. You beat your mom up pretty bad one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were you duking it out with your mom? Yeah, we got into a fight and then Jazz tried. Okay. Like she got into it too, like she tried to stop it. So what happened this time? Nothing. What happened this time? Mm -hmm. Taz. Are you the one that stabbed your mom? No, sir. Are you the one that kept on stabbing her in the back of the neck? stabbed her and kept stabbing her like they and, and you know what this wasn't um you know we study the psychology of crimes this wasn't somebody that that came by and said i'm a mean person i'm gonna hurt somebody this is somebody that had anger built up and when they were hurting your mama they were it was just built up and they were just pent up and, they, and, and it was just bothering them and they just couldn't stop themselves and they were really like out of control were you there? No. Could you have stopped her? Stopped her. Jazz. Yeah, I couldn't stop her. It's funny how you lied to me about when y'all got to school. Yes, Everything I talked about, 
you know it was there. Okay? You know you opened up the linen closet when you had a bloody hand. You know there's somebody one of y'all's hair hidden in a shoe with with tissue that's got blood on it and a, and a medallion. But well, you know that um, apparently during the, the struggle, one of y'all's hair got pulled. Okay, you knew that part, so it doesn't surprise you when I tell you you know I'm not making something up. And you know why there would be blood on the shoes. You know that part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, why well, is there blood on but but you know there's blood on you're not surprised there's blood on because you know what happened. Okay. I didn't know let's cross one bridge, okay? Let's not make you go all the way yet. You know what happened. Yes? Mm-hmm. You know what happened. Yes? Why do you look at me and lie to me? You know what happened, yes? Taz, do you respect your grandmother? Don't sit here beside her and lie. You might not respect me, you don't know me. But that's the woman that's done a lot for you. Don't sit here and lie, okay? Don't you hear how people judge other people their honesty okay you know what happened yes you want to take a break okay I, I, I want you to think will you, will you tell you will you talk to your grandma camera in here. I'm going to turn the camera off so y'all can talk. Okay? Um, I, I want you to be smart. Yes, sir. Now, I'll come back here and see if you want to tell me something. Yes, sir. All right. Come talk to her. I'm so over here by her grandma. Oh, you're okay. You don't have to oh, use the bathroom. I, 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 
didn't take my water pill today, so I'm not having to go as much. <laughs> You know, I've never taken one of those. Really? Well, yeah. that's good. My uh, my buddies, when they were wrestling, they used to take those to help them cut weight. Yeah. To help them lose right. weight real quick, right yeah. before weighing. It really did help you lose the weight. I take them for my high blood pressure. Ah. Uh, because, uh, you know, when you eat food and it's like you got too much salt and stuff. It causes you to retain water. Yeah, yeah. water and everything. So I take <coughs> dries you out? Mm-hmm. It dries you out. And I try to drink a lot of water, a lot of fluids because it's really do. It's, it's really dry you out. But I don't have any swelling like sometimes people have in their feet yeah. and everything. I don't have anything like that, but my doctor, um, he want me to take a water pill along with a blood pressure pill. Yeah. My um, mother family
that just because you tell the truth don't mean that I won't have to arrest you. I mean, I want you to understand that. I'm not trying to trick anybody. Okay? I think you did something bad. Okay? And I'm going to tell you why I think that in a minute. I'm going to tell you what evidence I found today in your house. Okay? And you, I'm going to let you say, oh, let me tell you why that's there. Okay? Okay? If you can tell me. But if you can't tell me, then I'm worried. Okay. All right. And Grandma's worried. All right. Same thing. You're not under arrest. We'll get to that. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used as evidence against you in court law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, it won't be appointed to represent you without cause. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights on answering questions or making any statements. The waiver of rights is having these rights in mind. Are you willing to talk with me now regarding this matter and to tell me? Um, if you're going to talk to me, I need you to initial there and Grandma's going to initial there. It won't be so? It won't be so? You can talk if you want. That's your decision. Alright, Grandma, will you initial this regarding? Yes, it's you. Okay. Start with... Um, start with the night before the end. Start with, um, let's start at 6 o'clock the night before. So just start telling me like the story like we're talking on the phone. What, what went on? She wasn't there at 6 o'clock though. Where was she? She said she was at school. She said she was at school. Um, yeah. Okay. Where did she go to school? Water or something like that. It was like hairstyling? I think it's a fashion school. A fashion school. Okay. Really shows up, huh? Yeah. 
arguing with stuff and she put it in bed. What was they arguing about? Like I thought she was like, no, you can't come over here and blah, blah, blah. Oh, and she's already on the phone? Yeah. She was really alone. Uh-huh. Stuff like that. Uh, have you ever seen Joe? Okay. Um, anybody ever say anything about your mom being pregnant? Where did the bus let you off at? Um, 
your sister. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That makes you a liar. What's up with that? Okay. You have lied to the police. You know that's making false statements. That's a crime. Could be a crime. I asked you how you got to school. You told me the specific route that you walked. You lied to me. Okay, but what? We're talking, we're investigating the death, the murder of your mother, the violent murder of your mother, and you're going to lie to me? Maybe you don't know why. Why? Because I don't, nobody wants y'all to know what we're doing. Okay, but you know what? I really don't care what you want me to know. It's to, it's what I need to know. Okay? I'm the police. I don't just ask you and you casually lie but to y'all me. Haven't, y'all have a question. All them other people who we need We question to be lots questions. of people. Lots okay, of well, people. Like Sylvia. They're all out there. At 3 o'clock and everything. And she so-called say she, she, she didn't unlock the door and everything. And she so-called no joke and everything. Y'all didn't ask her nothing about that. Okay. Let's talk about you. Why did you lie to me? Because I didn't want y'all to know where was at. Where were you? I'm not going to tell you where I was with or anything. Why? Because. I've already talked to Taz. Taz already told me who you were with. Who were you with? You can't get anybody in trouble. Everybody does what they do. If they do something to get in trouble, they got their self in trouble. You can't get somebody in trouble. You may be in trouble. Because you're, you're sitting here telling lies and withholding information, and I'm investigating the death of your mother. Okay? I need to talk to who was in that car. I want to see if your sister's telling me the truth. Who was in that car? Two days. Everybody's going to pretend that I don't want, I don't want to get in trouble with skipping and stuff. 
okay, your your mom was laying dead in in underwater with blood, and you're worried about telling me you skipped school? Um, well, what else am I supposed to say? I don't know, but that don't make a, a daggone bit of sense. You, what am I supposed to do? To not, you're not supposed to say. Anything? You're supposed to say, look, officer, I did this. But you're telling me a two-hour difference in the time you got to school. What were you doing those two hours? You're not going to tell me. Well, no, I'm going to tell you where I Okay. Let me ask you another question. In your closet, there's a pair of black and white Air Jordans. In that pair, in those, that pair, they're black with a little white on the tongue. They did, they were in the closet. No, and and hidden in the court, well, maybe I don't know the time. Hidden in the corner, in the closet, with stuff all piled up on it. Okay? And we get in there and look, almost didn't even see it, we had to look hard. And in that shoe is a bunch of tissue with blood. Okay? And there's also a big clump of hair. And you know what? we're looking at because we're investigating your mother's death it's not your mother's hair it's one of y'all's hair your mama was wearing braids somebody could pull her hair out somebody fighting for their life to pull your hair okay along with the medallion with things that goes around your neck Also in your room, in that room, there's a black and white striped blanket that has blood on it, okay? And the linen closet is when you so one of y'all opened the door with bloody hand and left finger impressions that will check. Why is your hair in that shoe? My hair should not be in that shoe, whatever shoe you're talking about. So when I pull your hair? My hair is not going to be in that shoe because I pulled my hair. My hair didn't know my hair came out. Whose hair is that? My hair. I don't know who hair it is. But whose bloody tissues are those? I don't know whose bloody tissue it is. It's blood. I don't know whose bloody tissue. I don't know what medallion you're talking about. Did you stab your mother? I did not stab her and I did not know she was stabbed until today. Do you know who stabbed your mother? I was trying to give y'all a good thing about who did it, but y'all don't want to look at that person. I want, I want to look at all everybody until I find the right person. Uh, so far, right so far, only head. only one person. I, I'm not really worried how mad I make you if you're lying to me and if you're sitting here telling me that you won't tell me something. I'm trying to solve a murder. Okay? Somebody, you know how many times you live? You live one time. Now you could have gotten mad at your mother and y'all could feel really bad about how she treats you and how y'all have to take care of her and how she didn't take up for you when she took take up for you, but she didn't deserve to die. Okay, y'all could have handled it some other way. Who did? Nobody else has lied to me. Nobody else has lied about where they were two hours that morning. Two hours. Do what? Yes. Sure, we've had the whole time see. Okay. You tell me time of death. I'm not gonna tell you something no time of death. Why'd you lie to me about the two hours? That's important for me to know. Because I didn't want y'all to know where I was at. Where were you? If you were somewhere then that's important. That's an alibi. That's what I need to check out. Where were you for two hours? You need those people to tell me where you were. That's not fair, everybody. Sure it is. No, everybody is responsible for themselves. Who were you with? Did you hurt your mother? Didn't hurt my mom. Did you hurt your mother and, and Taz tried to stop you and that's how she got cut? You cut her hand too? Is that what happened? I did not hurt my mom. How did Taz's hand get cut? I hurt my mom and nothing, not nothing like that. 
Had his Ted hands put her hand on his feet. It, is that not convenient? Is that not coincidental? You think everything coincidental. Well, I think things are lies when they're lies. Okay? I haven't lied. You've lied. Where were you for the two hours? I'm not going to tell you nothing about anybody else can do it. It's not fair. Uh, are we t is it fair that your mother's dead? Is it fair that you're accusing me? If, if, you, if you're not guilty, and, and it looks like you're guilty, and I'm having to spend all my time focusing on you when I should be looking somewhere else, that's not fair. Uh, that, that's not fair because you should be looking somewhere that's else. That's not fair, but you won't tell me the right thing so that I can look where I need to look if I need to look somewhere else. But right now, it doesn't look like I need to look somewhere else because you are the liar. And you know what a liar is? If you can't trust a liar, you can't trust a liar. If you'll lie, you'll steal. You'll steal, you'll hurt somebody. Did you hurt your mom? No, no, no. Do you know who hurt your mom? No. This y'all be y'all job. I wasn't there. No, I wasn't either, but you trying to make me be there. Well, there's two hours that you've lied to me about that I don't know where you're at. Okay? Tell me where you were and let me find out where you were those two hours. So what did you really do when you missed the bus? Did you really miss the bus? Yes, yeah, we did, did miss the bus. Okay. And then what did you do? I went where I said I went. Where? I'm not going to tell you where I, where, where I, where, where I went because it's not fair to the other person. You, you understand you're only 16. You really don't have a choice about what you tell. I mean, I mean your adults ask you something. You're not an adult yet. You have to tell them what you have to tell them. You're being insolent. Hey, if your grandmother asked you, would you tell her? Yep. Ask her, Grandma. Not you. Huh? Not she. The reason she's going to ask you is not because she wants to know. <coughs> she's going to ask you because it's getting you in trouble, and she don't want you to be in trouble. If you don't have to be in trouble. Whose hair is in your shoe? I don't know what shoe. Why is there blood about. on the blanket in your room? Um, I don't even know what blanket you're talking about. The black and white striped comforter. Okay. Why is there blood on it in your room? I have a question. Why is there blood on your shoes from that room? What shoe? The what shoes. Shoe? The shoes that Taz says were yours with the buckle on the side. What, what buckle? I don't know what shoe you're talking about. How many shoes you got with buckles on the side? I don't know what buckle you're talking about. But because you don't want to tell me. There's blood on that shoe. On what shoe? There's blood on two different pairs of shoes in your on room. On what shoe? What shoes? Brown buckle? Yeah. Uh, it's like a boot.
Taz hurt your mother, what should happen to her? Uh, you know, you know, was she with you those two hours? Yep. Where was she at? With me. When, where were you at? I'm not going to If Taz hurt your mother, what should happen? She didn't hurt her. If you hurt your mother, what should happen? I didn't hurt her. Did y'all have a reason to hurt your mother? Yeah, no. No. Why, why would you sit there and write about how much you hate her? Okay, that's venting your feelings. Venting your feelings. I will buy much I love her too, but I don't like that. I hate my mama. Okay, that's you, but I write how I feel sometimes. Have you ever hurt your mother? No. Nope. What about a year ago when you beat her up? I, I didn't pictures. beat her up. She looks beat up to me. I didn't beat her up. Her my her my sister got into a fight. She didn't beat her up. Taz said you jumped in on it. No, she didn't. She wouldn't even say anything like that. Didn't Taz say she, that Jasmine jumped in on I mean, Jasmine? I'm not lying about that. She said you jumped into it. No, I did not jump into it. I jumped in to get her off of her. Uh-huh. Yeah, who off of who? My mom off her. Um, she didn't want to beat up. Your mom wouldn't beat up. No. Yeah, she did. She how are you going to fight with too. your mama? I don't fight. I fight her. Well, who were you fighting with when police came out the other night? My auntie Tina. So you fight. You fought your she sister the other night. She hit me first. So that matters? If you if somebody hits you, you gonna hit them back? Why? Because you know if somebody just hit you and beat you up. So what does hitting them do? Did your mama hit you and you hit her back? I didn't hit my mom, she didn't hit me. Never. Never hit her. Never. So none of the police reports will say that. Nope. None of them. Why does your mama tell everybody she, she's scared of you? Because mommy has mommy had problems. She wasn't scared of us. She was so scared of us. She would never let us move back in with her. She told Robert. That, Robert, that you Robert, said, Robert, and Linda and Tim, they all in cahoots. That's all it is. They all in cahoots. Why are they in cahoots about? What you mean? What, what does cahoots mean? They all together. Yeah, they all say that she was telling them. That you were telling her you were going to kill her. I never told her I was going to kill her. You told me that you said it at court. You never told her I was going to kill her to her face. But you said it. To the judge. He, if he thought that I was going to kill her, he would never let me move back in work. And, and I never she, said, like, well, I was, I mean, I'm going to kill her. I said, she made me feel like I want to kill her. And did you feel like you wanted to no, kill her? No, I'm not feeling because we were getting along that same night. We were getting along that same did night. Did you feel like you wanted to kill her those two hours? You can't tell me where you were at? No, I'm not feeling like I need to kill her. Where were you those two hours? You don't want to ask me that. I am. I need to know. If you, if you, if you killed your mother, then we're going to charge you. I mean, that's what needs to happen. If you've had a reason, if there was a reason for violence, then I need to know the reason. I can't do any of the jobs I have until I know the truth. Okay? But I've only had one person that mentioned killing her. I've only had one person that's got blood in her room. I've only got one person that lied to me about where they were at for two hours. That's you. And you have all these other people. Yeah. And, and you you're, never, you never and think you're about sitting there saying, I'm the one that's right. Everybody else is wrong. Poor, poor me. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one everybody feels poor, sorry poor for. And I'm saying poor, poor me or feel sorry for me, but it's not fair. You haven't called anybody up here and questioned them like that when well, they was on accounted for for, and then they came to her house at three o'clock. Right before, right before I got there, but you um, double back and mysterious. You ain't not questioning her. Well, she wasn't missing for two hours. She didn't lie to me. Okay. She's not in the car with a stranger. Okay. So what does that mean? Okay. You're being insolent. Right? No. Do you know who killed your mother? No. If it's not you, do you know who no. killed her? I have a good idea, but y'all not listening to Did one of your boyfriends hurt her? No. No, I have one. We have one boyfriend. He did not hurt her. He would never hurt her. He never. I meant when I said more than one. I meant you, as in you and her. One of your boyfriends. Yeah. 
No, I'm not one of my boyfriends. They don't, never, they don't even come down there. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll listen to you. You have a good idea. Tell me your good idea. Good idea of what? You said you have a good idea of who did. I, th- I think Sylvia and Joe had something to do with it. Okay, why? Because oh, a couple years ago, a while ago, she had my mom, my mom and her boyfriend robbed. And then, mysteriously, she popped up at the house that same day. She so called, said she didn't open the door. Because she said she not, and she said she didn't open the door. Anybody would try to see the door was open. And then she just doubled back mysteriously when the police came. And she been acting too suspicious, been asking us, like, all, all these questions about, you know, what happened, what happened, what is this, what have they asking y'all, what is that? And I think it's suspicious. I do too. I'm with you. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, I'm not. And you rolled your eyes. Don't roll your eyes with me. I'm not being, I think that's suspicious. We already thought that was suspicious. We're already, that's one of the, uh, one of the T's we're crossing, one of the I's we're dotting. Okay? And we're looking into that. But I need to know where you were in those two hours. Look, if you didn't hurt your mother, tell me the truth. Help me out so that I ain't sitting here night after night with you when I should be looking somewhere else. And I can't do that till in my mind I say, I believe these two girls. And right now I don't believe them. If you want me to believe you, help me believe you. Are you going to tell me? Please. Are you ignoring me? No. Well, tell me if you're not going to tell me. If you're going to tell me, quit thinking about it and tell me. It's not good to try anybody else. It's not. It's not a tra- it, it happened, okay? If you were with somebody, you were with somebody, I I need to verify it.
I won't call y'all. Um, so I'm going to do that first one. Um, I don't know what time I'll wake up. Sometime after I wake up, I'll call you. Okay?
she go? She usually does. Why didn't she get you up?